Okay, so this is my official deck card for my favourite deck. It's my Witcher Hunters High Roller deck. So we've played around loads in the stream today with all kinds of different variations and we've ended right back where we started with just an all-in 25 card deck. Now, the first thing I will say is this deck is unbelievably fun. It is unbelievably strong. However, there is a big but. The mulligan can be an absolute nightmare and there will be some games where you're just left with the worst hand going. So uh, we have made one change. Uh, being that we've brought in Yennefer for Dandelion. Now, the reason being is Yennefer, alongside Philippa, are our two mages, which just give us um, a pretty much consistent um, chance of getting out all our witch hunters nice and nice and easy, because they give us lots of thinning. Before, when we only had Philippa, there was uh, situations where we just weren't getting the value off our witch hunters that we'd like, because no mages are around. So, um, basically, the premise of the deck revolves around um, the siege support. So, they are offering us loads of points uh, for everything that goes in. So they've got lots of synergy with everything in this deck. They've got unbelievable synergy with the poor flanking infantry. Um, these are worth 12 points with just one... Uh, 13 points, rather, with just one seed support. With two, they're worth 16. And with three, you actually get 19 points off of them. Um, and if you include a fall test buff on that as well, you can actually get up to 22 points off each poor flanking infantry. Uh, with these down, which is just crazy value. We've also got our Witch Hunters, uh, which pull out our Boost Rights Commando, so that's a lovely little combination. And we've also got our Dumb Banner Light Cavalry. Now, that's it for bronze cards. Uh, lots of things summoning themselves from our deck, of course. Then, the centerpiece in our Silvers um, revolves around our three Witches. Now, we've tried taking them out. We've tried all kinds of different things, like taking the Light Cavalry out, but it seems like this is the best way. The thinning you achieve is mad. Um, and then we've also got our other three silver cards, which kind of pick themselves. We've got, of course, our Silver Spy, which is essential in most decks, especially if you're running Light Cavalry. Um, so we can really try and use Fala to ensure getting our Cavalry out. And then we've also got Vess, who really enables this deck to have any kind of chance at being consistent. So uh, she mulligans a card. If you've got a Soldier or an Officer, she mulligans two. And if you've got both, that's three. So our only Officer is Dijkstra. So normally we're going to be getting two mulligans um, with our... Soldiers being our poor flanking infantry, uh, witch hunters, boost strikes, commandos, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so we've got lots of options there. And our final silver card is a crucial component to this deck, Nenenke. So first and foremost, this deck gets wrecked by mill decks, but it doesn't because we've got Nenenke. So she puts three bronze or silver cards back in. Um, and we can also, in that matchup, we can use Shaney on Nenenke the round later. So as long as you win round one... Uh, against a mill deck, and then round two you play Nenenke to put three uh, bronze cards back, and then round three you use Shaney on Nenenke and put three more bronze cards back. Like you want to minimise your musters, so you like poor flanking infantry, siege supports are nice targets for that. Uh, so Nenenke is crucial in that matchup. However, the power of Nenenke also means that we can put back our witches, so we can use our witches twice. Um, however, we can also put our Dunbar and like cavalry back to twice. So. It, if we proc our Light Cavalry without even using Thala, and we've still got Thala in hand, putting back a Light Cavalry offers us loads of free points, um, especially with things like Siege Supports on the table, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can put Witch Hunters back as well. You can put anything back, right? So Nenenke is fantastic in this deck. And finally, our gold cards. We've got Philippa, who I think is one of the best Northern Realms gold cards around, apart from John Natalis, those two being my favourite Um John not really working in this deck with the Witches though, because there's not quite enough room for the Silver Tactics cards. Um, we've got Shaney, so like I say, Nenenke is a fantastic Shaney target um, to put two, back two sets, so you can put back Light Cavalry, and then you can put back the Witches as well. Um, and obviously Dijkstra really helping to ensure actually drawing your Witches through Dijkstra can be a really, really dangerous proposition after putting them back with Nenenke. Um, then finally, we are running... Um, Yennefer as well. It could be Kiramet, but we're currently rocking Yennefer. So maybe this one gold slot is the one bit of wiggle room. Um, if we're playing in a meta where everyone's running mages, uh, Dandelion would be ideal for this deck. However, I do think Yennefer or Kiramet are the options, just to give ourselves um, a nice reset target. Obviously, we're getting loads of units on the board, so Yennefer does make quite a lot of sense in this deck. So let's see. Let's get into a game. Let's see what we can do. Um... Like I say, you can experiment around with this deck uh, yourselves. I reckon you'll have an absolute blast playing it. I really, really do. It's um, It's been a favourite of the stream. I'd like to say anyway, I think the stream's been enjoying it. Um, so we're up against Francesca. 
let's see what we can Press do versus burning. Francesca with Mr. Foltest. So, obviously, the mulligan, straight away you can see the issue with the deck. However, we have got Vess. So, blacklisting obviously comes in really, really important. So, what we need to work out here is what is Watch going to be more learn. important for us. Is it going to be our Witch Hunters or the Cavalry? And I actually think it's going to be uh, trying to maximise our Witch Hunters as we've got Philippa. So, I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that, and get rid of that. So, it worked out okay. Not terrible, right? We've got two cards that we don't want. So... You could be inclined here to Vess straight away. However, I would not suggest that. Um, reason being, we've got loads of cards in our deck. We're not really we wanting still. Must be done. Um, so we're going to achieve some thinning first. But already it's looking like we've got a good chance of getting out our Light Cavalry pretty soon. right? So the first play Salutations. with this deck is always going to be your Siege support if you've got one. Fall test might be tempting, but I promise that is not the way to go. So he's going to go ahead and play an ambush card and that's not quite enough for our cavalry to come out which is unfortunate um, I'm going to go ahead and play my poor flanker so this isn't going to destroy it ok so it's not even that okay, so that's good to know right um, this is Tuberal and he passes interesting so uh, he's getting 6 points here 8, 10 points so he's got 35 points so we would need 16 points to do so, which is um, enough for our witches, right? And I'm kind of comfortable just putting these in. I don't a really mind. Respect. So we take, the, we take the round minus one, so happy days. Like I say, our witches are going to come back in our deck at some point. So it's really not a big issue uh, expending like our witches. Well, let's just carry on and pretend that didn't happen. Um, that's slightly awkward. <laughs> Well played, sir. I saw. I think I just got to hold my hands up to that one and say I just got done. Uh, there's no two ways about it. Cunning play. <laughs> well, slightly, uh, <laughs> slightly unfortunate. I'm just gonna risk the fire here. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. So, we're going to get some of our light cover out. It's not been a great start, has it, the boys? Finally. It's not been fantastic. Um, I guess I'm just going to try and vest here. Okay. Somewhat salvageable hand, right? Still no sign of Menenke. Patty says, I never see this yet. You're right, I do never see this stuff coming, man. I never see it coming. I, kneel I need to wipe this out, really, if I can. Um, so, I will go ahead and fill up here. And if it's still alive, I can also uh, Yennefer. And it will be guaranteed to die. So, not a fantastic start, it must be said. <laughs> However, we get our extra cavalry out as well, which is You'll nice. The consequences of your okay, so I might actually struggle here, but hopefully we'll kill it. No. So... Definitely should have gone for this soon as well. So we've made a few <laughs> vital errors. But these things happen, right? These things happen. You can see the issues of the deck. This is obviously a high roller deck. Um, okay, so this is a lot of value he's getting off this as well, for sure. You'll notice as well, I've still not played Fall Test. Um, I'm going to play Fall Test pretty soon. I'm going to get in my Witch Hunters. I'll play this first. Salutations. And then I'll play my Witch Hunters. Then I will Fall Test. Um... Because I'm going to have to reset Philippa, I'll just get an extra point waiting to do so. Blood and neck ends. So, Faltest gives you extra points after using your flanking infantry. I still think we've got a chance here. He's probably going to try and force the 2-0, but um, honestly, I'm not really too worried. Our pies will right, so let's go. This is where we bring it back. We're going to win this game still, despite I my misplay, I promise. We're going to do it. Uh, so this is my best reset. This is worth 5, this is worth more. So we'll reset him. See you later, alligator. So, if I can play my poor flanker um, before fall testing, it'll be good. Of course, as well, if you can actually um, wait to use your fall test after using Nenenke, you're going to get like a few extra points on them. Um, fall test obviously isn't quite as important to be straight away anymore. So, he's probably going to wipe that out. It doesn't quite wipe it out, which is good. What? No! There's a slight misjudgment on his part. Right, so our fall test here would get us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 17 point fall test, so pretty damn nice. I've of course got another reset with my witch hunter here. 
But now is the time to fall test. Um, I've got in my left flanking and right flanking, so I'm going to get actually max points off of them. Close ranks. I guess I could have Yennefer first as well, or something like that. Because <coughs> it would boost the unicorn up as well, which is pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so this one is going to, of course, damage us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use... I could Shaney, um, but I'm going to try and keep Shaney. Shaney would give me good value on um, my poor flanking infantry. However, if I can try and keep Shaney into this last round, um, I can actually, if I draw into Nenenke, which I've got a great chance of doing, right? Almost guaranteed, in fact, pretty soon. As you can see, I've only got four cards left on my deck, so the thinning new key for this deck is really, really strong. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little unicorn. So I get good value off the end here. Pretty damn good. Um, obviously, Witch Hunter's going to reset this anyway, so a nice little touch there. So even despite the massive misplay on my part, we've, we're still looking really, really strong. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vart. So I'm going to call him my last Witch Hunter. Time the north was cleansed. Uh, this is my best reset, right? 12 points, 8 points. Um, Shaney would be strong here. However, like Your I say, will not I would roll a Keeper if possible. I'm going to go for Dijkstra here. I'm always guaranteed to draw into the Nenke. We've got a 2 in 3 chance. So here she is. So yes, here's a nice little touch, right? Oh, actually, I'm just going to put all three witches back because I could actually have drawn straight into them there, right? Um, so basically what I could have done in a normal situation is put um, two witches back and then you can draw them with Shaney. However, because I could have drawn into my witches there, say Marigold's me, have I got enough here? It's definitely possible I do, you know. I don't think I'm... I probably don't though, right? I think I'm going to be just short. Really not by that much, but we do, of course, lose this one. If I drew into my witches, it would have been a touch. If I play, could have played my witches with Shaney, it wouldn't have been. But um, we were actually really, really close, despite myself making a misplay. So you can see the power of the deck and the risk of the deck. So let's get into another game. Let's see um, what we do. So right now we're chilling like around the top 1,000 just outside. Um, but we were comfortably high with this deck. Uh, we have been experimenting with it a fair bit. So we're like 1,300 in the world. So, yes. Marigold's, of course, uh, ruining us there. I don't think you could really argue with Marigold's if it was a gold card. I think it would still be included. You could argue it's due to the power creep of bronze cards that Marigold's is so good. But, um, honestly, it's good in every single matchup. You're never going to have a bad Marigold's. Like, worst case scenario, even against a spell tell, you're still going to get... Like, at least 8 value off it, right? I mean, best case, you can Close get low. Ranks. So, it's, it, there's no real downside of including it in a deck. However, let's not talk about Marigolds. Let's uh, see if we can bounce back in our second game. I'm going to ditch a Witcher first. Um, ditch this. Ditch this. Okay. So, it worked out well. We've got three Siege supports, which is obviously a nice touch. We've got Nenenke and Vess. So really looking pretty strong here. This is like, this is what I was saying. When the hand goes well, you're really, really hard to match. Um, I think I'm going to play two of my siege supports and not all three. So I'd imagine this is going to be his hand salt onto this fella. So he actually Thalas, which is interesting because that could suggest he's got like how. Um, what is my play that would prevent his light cavalry coming out? Well. I have got a seven point play here, which would put me to 25. So I would guess that would be enough, right? Uh oh. Trouble so we'll just, just we'll do that. Um, these are, of course, going to absolutely Tameria get me loads of value. To speak its last. But an early John Natalis, it must be reinforcement. Marching orders get death mob. Nice little play, actually. Nice play. But I've got another one. I'll just. What do you want? Okay, I don't really mind. I could have been inclined to have gone for Philip for that. Okay, so he droughts me, so this is my pass. I've got no weather clears in this variation of the deck. Um, I mean, do I pass? I've still got two of these on the board, right? Surely I, surely I get a good value off this still. Surely I shall get a good value. So I've kind of said one thing and done something else. But 
I mean, that's not a very high tempo play. I'm still getting lots of value off my Temerians. I can even use my Witches here as well, because I can then NK them back next round. Okay, so he does have Light Cow. So, that's obviously been my error there. Letting him get that out is going to be an issue. But I can still call pretty much everything in. I can get my Witch Hunters with um, on Death Mold. I can get my Witches in. I'm just going to keep going as I am, actually. I'm going to keep going here. Play into this drought somewhat. Possibly a bad idea, but whatever. This is my only error, really, getting his Light Cavalry up. Right, left, right. Um... Let's go for this. Magic souls chaos. Let's just get the full value in. Ush. My time the north was cleansed. Ush. Get them all in. Time all the, the boys. All the boys. Um, and then I get a two point reset on John as well. Why not? So we're not still looking good. Shabby. Not shabby still looking good despite playing into this drought head first. I pass on every tenth round. And it looks like I'm going to find a half-decent passing opportunity. However, I've still got my Witches as well. So I do think I'm going to play them, honestly. Um, and then NK them back next round. I don't see how it could be too bad of an idea. I guess, actually, saying that, um, the fact he's played this Siege Master, this is often a big target for Henselt. And you get crazy value off it. So I'm, I am actually just going to pass. I'm going to keep my Witches because... Playing that is his got to be his hen cell target, in my opinion. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Round. But anyway, whatever. We still take the, the round, a card up. We've still got our Light Cavalry in our deck. We've still got Vess and an NK in hand. Um, we're looking pretty strong. So this is where times like this, um, I could Nenenke back my Witch Hunters, for instance, would be an option. And obviously, still having my Light Cavalry at this stage in the game is an issue. So I would love to try and get Thala, but it's not looking great, as you can see. Well, I will just play this. Aye, aye, sir. I can always put it back with Nenenke as well, if I need to. So even cards going into the last round. We're looking all right, okay? He's got his hens out still. Yennefer comes out. Let's try and ditch his Witcher. I've still got Vess anyway, so. Shaney, lovely touch here. So, my first, um, we've not got Dijkstra, so that's a little bit thinner we're not going to achieve. But what I do notice is I have got Philippa. So, what I'm going to do here with Nenenke, and this is why this deck works so well with uh, Nenenke. Obviously, your Witches are going to be your main target, right, with Dijkstra in hand especially. But um, what I can actually do here is put two Witch Hunters back, and I can put back a, I could put back a Commando. I'll put back a commando as well. Actually, I was gonna put. I could put back this uh, this light cavalry, but I'm gonna put back a commando. And the reason for that is with Shaney, what I can actually do is pick up this last witch hunter. And you can do the same with witches as well. Um, I can pick up this last witcher, pieces, witch hunter myself. rather, and call in all my uh, my units from there, which is a nice little touch. So obviously, um, Vess isn't actually getting me that great of value here. What I could do as well is use Vest to try and. Um, Time for it. Enough. I'm just gonna go for them now. I mean, maybe that was a bad idea. I could have just played low tempo for my light cavalry, right? That was probably the best option there. I would have had. Um, I pass on every. Right, I'm gonna hit this though with uh, with Philippa and not get great value out of her, admittedly. But it does stop his crewman. That's the main thing here. Um, I could obviously go with Vess and try and get Dijkstra because that could give me more value overall, but these cards are decent. Ah, so he does actually take out Philippa, which obviously that will be a massive blow to me because I wouldn't be able to call in all my mages, uh, my witch hunters, but the addition of Yennefer over Dandelion does help you me out in this case. Um, now, of course, what you will notice is there is a little bit of bad synergy in the fact I'm going to have to reset Yennefer herself. But what can you really do, right? Um, 
I'll play Vess next and but not mulligan anything. Discuss this is later. So it's interesting that he's going for such a late hand shot here. Um, he was obviously looking to hand out something else that didn't quite work out for him. We're still looking good here with this final play. We should get quite a lot of value, honestly. Because we'll get one commander coming out as well, which is a nice little touch. So, GG. We cocked up our plays the first one. However, we do bounce back and get the second one. So, let's go, boys. Let's go. He says. Sure. Oh, he's got a shiny himself. So, I guess he's trying to work out what to put in. pass on every tenth round. Go on, hit Yennefer. Go on, hit Yennefer. Hit Yennefer. Yes. Thank you. Just to make my win even more secure. So you can see the power of Shaney and the Nenko combination. This works with the Witchers as well. Ush, we put back that Commando as well. And we'll just keep hitting Yen. And then we'll hit his biggest reset, which is this fella, right? Nice GG to us. You one piece. Right. Right, right, bang, big hens help mate, that was sick. Um, so, I'm going to play another game, obviously this is going to be a super long video, but um, if you guys are interested in continuing to watch more gameplay, please do. I've also got a Twitch channel, I do stream all the time over here, we're actually streaming right now, so um, yeah, let's get into another game, see what we can do, so we've won one, lost one. The high roller deck of dreams. When it works, it is fantastic. When it doesn't work, it can screw you. It must be said. But this is what these deck guides are about, right? I'm not going to just um, show you like, the best possible gameplays. I'm going to be honest with you and show you actually all the games. Because that's what what it's all about, we really. Like I say. What I brew the hoog. First time for everything, I guess. Um, haven't really played against many dwarfs at all. So... Blacklist are witch hunter first. Oh god. So I've ended up with two witches in hand, which isn't obviously ideal. And I've got a cavalry. Um, no mages either in sight. This is actually a really bad hand. This is actually one of the worst hands I've had in a while, honestly. With the no siege supports as well and no mages to call in my um, witch hunters. I really don't mind having the two witches and also this. It's really not that much of an issue. However... The rest of the hand is an issue. Um, oh, controversial. Okay, this. lovely. I get myself a siege support. So, we go for Thala. Um, I could also be inclined here to use an early Vess and just try and ditch this and hope for a decent draw. I've never run from no one. And I'm not about to start. What I would normally say, however, is you want to be careful using this early. But I'm going to make an exception for the rule. I'm going to go for it. Don't you fret. Ush. Oh, God. And that's why you need to be careful. I started off with a bad hand. And I still got a bad hand. Vess is best used, of course. Um, but the good news is, I did put away my light cavalry, which has now come out. So there's a positive, right? It, it was a slight upgrade. It was a slight upgrade. Move on, lads. Look alive. Right, so I'm just going to start hitting them with my poor flankers. They come in. Ush. So, a Dwarven Merc is up next. Still no sign of any mages, of course. Um, so don't really know why I'm still playing this round. It could just be an option to pass before he gets more carryover. To be honest. Um, sure. No problem. Crush those vermin. So I'm going to go ahead and pass now. Um, I could chain you this back. But realistically, I'll just take it uh, a card up, card down. Rather. I, can't, I mean, I could play my two. I'm going to go for this, boys. I'm risking. I'm going for it. I'm putting Shaney on. Now, my line of play here that I'm going to go for is I'm going to play just two witches um, and then I can then go two of them back. I mean, it's very controversial, I know. Is there any point in doing it? 
I mean, I'm showing these now, so I kind of may as well. The, the thing that's really, really damaging is the fact that I've not got either of my mages. That is the main problem here. Time for it. Enough. The double witches of dreams. Never had your kneecaps broken. So he's just getting more and more points as I continue to give him the opportunity for this. So um, I've obviously made a mistake in committing to, to it so much. However... I couldn't have NK back my wit, my uh, cavalry here, so I do think playing my witches was actually a fatal error because I could have just Nenkade my um, my light cavalry back straight away, and I'm going to draw them. Well, I've got Yennefer, that's nice, and Dijkstra as well. So hopefully I just don't draw my witch hunter here when I'm going to wear this commando, and I don't. Okay, so our hand has fixed itself, which is nice. So. Obviously, um, what I have done that was the mistake is play my double witches because I'm actually in a position here where my cavalry is going to come out for free. So I may as well just put my cavalry back instead of my witches. I'm pretty sure anyway. That uh, that's, should be the line of play. They're going to come out for free. They're just going to come out straight away. So Thank I've obviously got a dead Thank lambit in my tonight. hand. Um, and that was a big mistake using Shaney as well. So I did make a mistake. But we can still bounce back and win this. Yeah, so Patty's saying dwarves are decent with Sages and Immune Boost. Let's and um, Ennis Let's says that they are not bad, but the other score tells better. I do agree that dwarves are a good deck. I just think, yeah, Bruva's probably the worst leader there is. Yeah, but we get our Light Cow out for free, which is a nice touch. Obviously, I could have made better use out of that. Um, so Lambert is a dead card. Could go for the boost, but I'm actually going to go for a Chironex here. Because uh, nice got here. That's a shame. Uh, I'm going to use my um, Witch Hunters to reset Yennefer anyway. So, I let's go for our Witch I Hunters then. Let's get them in. Cleansed. Yennefer resets. Ush. Magic souls chaos. We hit her again. Our and then we'll finish it off with a reset door. there. So we're still two points behind, but we're still looking all right. Um, I'm going to draw through my whole deck, unfortunately, but we'll just put our two-point number. Now that's the kind of negotiating I understand. Our six-point number, blah blah. So, oh no, it's good. I'm not overdrawing. I thought I was overdrawing there, but I am actually good. But you can see there's loads of niche things you can do with Nenke and such. And this is a lovely, lovely, perfect draw here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all my cards are left, to be completely honest. Uh oh, trouble approaches. But we're looking pretty strong. Everything all right? As long as this doesn't get destroyed, which it doesn't, I'm I'm feeling pretty damn confident there. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Could be a famous last words type thing. So we've got the DJ Deekstra to finish. It's everyone's favourite finisher. Come on, show me the money. We get another one of these. And Philippa. So, lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> so, we made some mistakes. Um, the deck's definitely got a high ceiling. There's loads of things you can do. Little tricks with Nenenke. Um, with Shaney as well. Lots to consider. Hopefully you boys have enjoyed the video. Um, if you're interested in seeing more Northern Realms decks, I love a bit of Northern Realms. Um, my channel is the place to be, I would say, for Northern Realms. That's what I would, of course, say. Um, I'm going to continue playing on stream here. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching the video. If you do like, give me a subscription uh, on the YouTube. I've got like 24 subscribers looking to grow. Um, and also, please do check out my Twitch channel where I stream every single day. Uh, some Gwent action. Nice. Let's go, boys.